Uh, hi, I just wanted to put together a quick video here of how I capture water balloon bursts with my Pluto trigger. Um, first, to go over my equipment, I've got my camera and uh, got that set at an f8 aperture and a shutter speed of six seconds. Uh, I could probably get by with a little bit less, uh, three or four seconds. Um, it gives me plenty of time to, once I activate the shutter, to burst the balloon. Then I've got two of the Yangyo uh, remote sets. One of them I use to trigger the camera, and then the other one is connected to the Pluto trigger to trigger the flash. Um, also got a little flashlight that I use, and uh, once the lights are off, it makes it a little easier for me to get into position and uh, burst the balloon. The uh, used a needle to burst the balloon, and then I moved to uh, about an 18-inch piece of copper wire. That way my hand doesn't need to be in the uh, picture, but once the lights are out, sometimes it's hard to find exactly where the balloon is. So lately I've been using my uh, pellet gun, and I'll just lay that on the table, have it aimed, and then uh, just pull the trigger. Um, trying something a little bit different. Earlier today I took a picture of a balloon capture, or a balloon burst, where I've got uh, two balloons, one inside the other. The inside balloon has uh, red food coloring in it. And let's see, I've got this black piece of paper here. That'll block any light from hitting my backdrop when the flash goes off. I've got a tub to catch the water. And then it's also good to have a bowl to bring your balloons into the room that you're going to use. Uh, sometimes those burst, balloons burst uh, prior to when you would like them to. Oh, back to the camera. I use back button focusing so I can focus. Uh, and then when I take the shot, it doesn't try to refocus. Of course, you can turn the camera back to manual and, and uh, achieve that as well. I'll go over the Pluto trigger settings on the smartphone here a little later if you're not familiar with that. And with that, I'll turn off the lights and we'll try to take a picture. And here is the result. Okay, I just wanted to show how to use the uh, Pluto Triggering app. When I first got my Pluto Trigger for Christmas 2018, I couldn't get it to work. Um, it was operator error, but I got frustrated and put it away and drug it out about a month ago and learned how to use it. Now, first thing you want to do is, if you click on the three bars, is under Pluto Center, click Sound. And uh, once the sound screen comes up, you can either have it trigger the camera or trigger the flash. We want to trigger the flash. And if you click here, we can set the delay. I'm going to use 18 milliseconds. And then you can set the sensitivity. Um, I'm kind of noisy up here, so we're going to choose something about in that area I think should work. And uh, the output of the Pluto trigger is connected. I've got that connected to one of my Yangyo um, triggers. And then the, that trigger, the uh, flash is on that trigger. So the first sound that it hears after we turn this on is going to make the Pluto trigger light up. The second sound that it hears is going to trigger the flash. Now that first sound can also be used if you have the Pluto trigger pointed at your camera and the infrared uh, turned on on the camera. The first sound will trigger the shutter on the camera. That works great if the lights are on. For me, I couldn't get it to work 
with the lights turned off. So um, that's why I use the second set of Yangyo remotes to trigger the camera. Well, if you've made it this far, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video. If you have any questions or comments, please pass them on.